It is a jackpot carryover weekend starting in Kebeha where we are going to be uh, focusing on in the next few minutes and that is a jackpot carryover that goes on into jackpot one that starts race five and that is 250,000 rand expected to reach 1 million tomorrow it's a 1 million rand carryover onto that jackpot of group ones race five on henceforth that uh, Hollywood bets of Scottsville and then on Sunday again uh, we are talking about uh, that jackpot carryover at uh, Hollywood bets Kenilworth starting again in uh, race number five it is a seven race uh, ten race program rather than the second jackpot there starts in race seven but it's jackpot one right throughout the weekend that sees those carryovers all right if you want to get in touch with us because it is a uh, Bumper fest of uh, racing this after uh, this weekend. Do get in touch via our X handle or indeed our WhatsApp number. All right, let's uh, before we do anything whatsoever, uh, welcome our analyst, and he's got a, he's got his hands full once again because surfaces may change so far so good. It is uh, Nina Podesta, and we're going to be getting straight into that bipod. First of all, my brother, welcome, and uh, good to catch up with you again. Good morning, Cecil. Yeah. Very good to catch up with you too again after a, a week or two. Yes, but it's also good to have Clyde back in the hot seat. And so uh, there is a win-win situation all around, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Lovely to have Clyde back. Indeed. Right. Let's get straight into the uh, bipod. Now, this bipod and I take it all the exotics are done on trust that we are on a turf for the whole afternoon. Is that right? I certainly hope so, because I've studied for the turf. There is a possibility that it might go to Polly later on, but let's hope the, the rains uh, stay away and they can finish the, the meeting on the turf. All right, let's uh, quickly have a look at your selections, but I can highlight uh, the uh, favoritism in race number two. The three Arabian Red is at uh, 16 to turn firm, 16 to 10. Bridget Ferry and uh, Anna Cray of the one, Harvard de Grau. That's a 92. 92, the two seaside trip, the six sun drop, and the seven. Uh, Dumisani are both at sevens. It is 18 to one and better by those. That's your selection. Outlay is 256 Rand Nino. Just one question. Which is your first choice? One, two, three, seven. I take it it's the three. It's probably the three. Uh, I, I like the last run on the poly. It was finishing well, and I think it's going to be better on, on the turf. Uh, and the, the 1600, I think, is going to suit. But that's my first choice. Uh, you can uh, put a line through number uh, of the Grace uh, last run. Something went wrong. I think you'll also improve on, on the turf. That will be my second choice. And then number two, Seaside Trip. trip. Just uh, take note of the jockey because I believe Louis McCox is not riding today. And then uh, number seven, Dumasani. Thank so you I've very much. One, two, three, and seven in the Bible. Thank you, Nina. 256 Rand starts at 12.30. And as we wrap up our preview to that first leg of the Bipod, Ray Danielson will deputize for Louis McCox to honor the two Seaside Trip. All right, well, we can tell you that a uh, replacement uh, or deputizing for uh, the indisposed Mr. Louis Mklotwa in race three on uh, the mayor of Merivale, who finally gets to make that local debut. The last time was a scratching. This time it is uh, with a uh, different jockey, and that is Ray Danielson. That is uh, number six, the uh, mayor of Merivale, now uh, trained uh, by uh, J.P. Nell. Right, uh, that is one now, of course. Now, we're talking about uh, race number three, and just a quick look at uh, the uh, top two or three in uh, the uh, betting for that uh, first leg of uh, the uh, PAB. Reminded, it is uh, nine races on the card. And uh, Patea, Richard Furee for Alan Kreff, a recent relocatee. This will be a third run in the province. Into 92 from 5 to 1, it is 92 about the 8 uh, Dawn Cloud, the 6th Mayor of Merivale, 5 to 1. The uh, 3 uh, uh, spe uh, spec magic, rather, that is at uh, 15 to 2, 15 to 2, the 10 master of defense. Right, uh, Mr. Podesta, a maiden plate over the 1600 meters, as you know, as you and I know, Mayor of Merrydale, that uh, uh, debut in the province has been delayed, but finally today, and it is Ray Danielson, if you'd like to know, who's just uh, been allotted the right. Yeah, um, uh, Cecil, it's finally uh, getting a run today on, on the turf. I actually didn't include it in my bipod, which I, I maybe suggest for, for the people to add it in. But uh, the, what price is uh, number 11, Port Colors? Uh, Port Colors in the race number three is 9 to 1, along with the Ford Jetta Band, also 9 to 1. Well, interesting that uh, Samanga Kumala could have ridden a spit magic for the, for the stable, but he opts to ride Port Colors, which brings some fair Cape Town form. And I think that's. Uh, could be the lurker in the pack. So, 
so my numbers were uh, Spec Magic, uh, uh, Patea, Warsword, and Port Colors. That's the four I put in the bipod, but we should be, maybe add number six, Mayor of Maryville. All right, so it'll be two, three, eight, eleven. the original, the first of four horses, but you can add in uh, Mayor of Maryville, the six are now to be part of by Ray Danielson, PA, starts race three. And again, another outlay of 256 Rand. Well, if you add the six, obviously that'll change. And it's off at one o'clock. Okay, so if you've missed the show so far, welcome. It is going on to that first uh, carryover as far as the jackpots are concerned for the weekend. There will be 250,000 Rand going on to race five in Quebec, PE today, which is what we're going to discuss. A uh, million Rand going on to the first leg of the uh, grade ones at. Uh, uh, Hollywood bets of Scottsville, and that is a million rand expected to get to three million, and then back to 250,000 on uh, leg number one of the first jackpot, and that is race five at Hollywood bets uh, Kenilworth on a Sunday. No turpentine racing this weekend. All right, so we've got a uh, deputizing for uh, Mr. Louis Clotter on uh, the one a pay night that will be Ray Danielson, who is uh, going to be filling in for Louis and most of the afternoon along with Chase Mojan. But uh, we're talking about uh, race number five, where we've got Puerto Plata at uh, 33 to 10, the favorite Richard Free and Alan Kreev. This will be a uh, fifth run in the province. Number one, a pay night. Ray Daniels on the board now is at 9 to 2. 9 to 2, nibbled at the three light without. Also nibbled at is the four, Juan Carlos, and that is into 11 to 2, 13 to 2, and a better bar those. Well, some exotic names in a race and number five. Are any of them going to come through and win? And justify this, uh, these tongue twisters we've had to go through. You know? Yes, I'm here. I said there's some exotic named horses in race five. Is one of them going to come through and win? Puerto Plata is uh, the uh, favorite. Um, well, uh, Pine Knight uh, proved that he can run on the turf. Yes. Uh, so this is a competitive race. I like uh, Pine Knight uh, yes. to beat uh, Puerto Plata. Okay. So, uh, one and eight on my first two, but I've I've, I've added uh, five uh, and three, uh, one one two five six and eight in in the. Okay, one two five six and eight, and we're going to be discussing that bank in detail when we get to it. That is race number seven, but uh, quite wide in that first leg. One two five six and eight. That is a pay night at the uh, one of the two. That would be a magical Midlands a horse that's been good to you. Five, nothing else matters. The uh, six, that is Juan Carlos under the eight of Puerto Plata. Please take note, that first jackpot, the jackpot carryover starts at 10 past two with race number five. Don't forget our Twitter handle. Like us on our Twitter. It's going to be a great weekend of racing. And of course, uh, you can get in touch with us via our WhatsApp uh, details. Right, uh, race number six. Now, Richard teams up with uh, uh, Nona that he had a good uh, success with that turpentine on a Thursday. That was a queen of love for the Roy Magnus Stable, a fast star winner. And uh, this time he's on official secret. Now, as far as the betting is concerned, 28 to 10 about the favorite number seven, a woman's a world. That's Kelly Mitchley and uh, Caden Brewer, certainly riding with a lot of confidence. The uh, eight uh, public benefit is at four to one in from nine to two. The one official secret, nine to two, nine to two about the five double check. Nine, uh, Gideon's Daughters at 9 to 2. There's 15 to 2 and a better bar those. Scratched is the 16 clue. That uh, leaves us a field of 8. Now, Nina, the last time Gideon's Daughter was all the rage and didn't quite uh, go through with winning, but today can it make amends? Well, it can if it handles uh, the turf, uh, Cecil. It's got to be a big runner. If you like women's world, you've got to give Gideon's daughter a chance. She, uh, she's as much as two kilograms better off for, for a short head defeat. So uh, it all depends uh, if she uh, if she can uh, transfer the poly form to the turf. I think the value in the race is number one official secret. You can put a, a line right through that last run. Uh, the, uh, the appy couldn't handle the horse. Uh, so that run is best ignored. And have a look at the jockey and horse stats. Five rides, four wins. Uh, Richard back on, on this horse, I think it's a massive runner. Uh, and then uh, the, uh, the younger horses, uh, uh, number seven, Women's World, ran a good race last time in the feature. She went uh, to the front. I think she'll do the same. So one, seven, uh, eight, and nine. And then... Uh, 
Game of Flames, I put in the jackpot. I've put in one, two, seven, eight, and nine. I think the winner will come from there. Thank you so much, Gino. And just as we round up our look at uh, race number six, please note also in the colours of Mr. PJ Moore is the three crimson pa p princess rather that is to be partnered by Charles St. Rover. That is the first leg of the second jackpot and that is off at a quarter to three. And so we continue our look at a PE for this afternoon. It is a starting uh, the F well going to the feature that is uh, fifteen twenty the start of the last pick three, the uh, twenty twenty four renewal of the listed uh, ladies uh, slipper stakes and it's over the fourteen hundred meters. And uh, looking to stay unbeaten is Richard Faree's amount of four Alan Kreev and the AWSM ownership. And this is a chatter and a ripping. And uh, Spice Mabrin is the runner in question. Uh, that is uh, your uh, unbeaten sword from four runs. And that is at seven to ten, understandably. So the four Happy Holly is at 21 to 10. There's been quite a bit of support for the four. That is Gav Smith and uh, Calvin Abib. The one being Mary Maiden coming through from the Western Cape. Justin Snaith Saddles, 15 to 4. 11 to 1, the two can't say no. It is 28 to 1 and a better bar those. Right, happy Holly. The money is pouring in. I don't think it's any of yours because I know you've always liked to splice the main brain and today will remain unbeaten. Um, so I, I firmly believe so. Uh, you cannot oppose this Philly. She, look, she's, she's unbeaten four runs. She's a four-time winner, kidding, level weight, one-time winners, and a maiden from Cape Town. She's got Richard Furry on from a, from a number one draw. And the horse she beat last time, uh, King Dundee, uh, Frank the form by, by coming out and winning next time out. I, I think uh, very, very hard to oppose uh, Spice the main brace. And I'm banking in, in all my bets. And I make that the best bet on the card. Enough said, Nino. Enough said. Number six, Spice the main brain, a two-year-old daughter of Master of My Fate. That is the good thing on the afternoons so of making it a five-legged pick six and a three-legged jackpot one or two. Please take note that the jockey on the seventh, Such a Life, will now be Chase Mojan, deputising for Louis Mclotra. Well, by this time, uh, Spice, the main brainer, could have made it five from five. And if that is the, inst the case, please let us know what you think on our uh, uh, handles. That is uh, the... Uh, X handle and uh, the uh, number we have uh, as far as the WhatsApp is uh, concerned because the splice of main brain obviously would have been a factor if uh, taken uh, through to the uh, KZN region for that big meeting on a Saturday. But Alan, he's taken some horses through with some success. Right, let's get to race number eight. And here we have another runner that is to be partnered by uh, Mr. Rafuri for uh, Mr. Khrev. And that is number six, my best shot, who is uh, to be a popular selection with uh, Mr. Rapodesta, and that is at uh, 15 to 10, 9 to 2. In from 5 to 1 is the 7, Charlie Malone. The 3, Destiny's Angel is at 5 to 1, 15 to 2, and uh, better bar those. I see my best shot is a popular selection in most of your bets, Nina, but I see money coming in for the 7, Charlie Malone. What can you tell us about your uh, selection here? Well, I think if it stays on the, on the turf, uh, uh, and I think he's a big runner even though he's coming from a, 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 a tricky number 10 draw. Um, I believe he's a horse to beat because after that, it gets very, very competitive. So you either take a chance and you bank him a best shot, or otherwise you're going to have to put in quite a few, including Charlie Malone, uh, Miami Beach, a horse like Gunsmoke back on the turf can improve, and even Destiny's Angel. So you either bank him a best shot or, or you have to go wide. All right, my best shot. That is a bit of bullishness once again coming through from uh, Nino. And as we look at his selection, and you perhaps are taking uh, all his selections down, number eight, Windsock in race three, will now be a chance at Chase Mojan. And in race nine, uh, number two, Lady Majorca, that is also a chance ride, Mr. Chase Mojan. So all the uh, vacancies uh, left by uh, Louis Mclotua have been uh, filled up, mostly Ray Danielson and uh, Chase Mojan, with the exception of race number six, the three. That is the Crimson Princess will be chance right, Charleston Globe.